All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching season four, episode nine of My Hero Academia. I'm really excited for this episode after the last episode. Um, this, as again, like I said, the last episode, this arc is very, it's, it's pretty big for yeah, My Hero, and it's just going to be a really exciting time, and I'm really excited for it, especially to see it animated because this arc it gives birth, in a sense, to one of my favorite characters in my hero <clears throat> so yeah i'm very excited for it let's get right into it because it's gonna be hype so yeah he's they're out now that's good you did well tamaki good job Oh, Tamaki. Oh, fuck, man. Yeah. Tamaki, you did fucking well, though. You took the dub. You took out three pretty weird ass quirks, considering. Smart dude. So, yeah, they're inside the villain hideout now. And uh, they're going to make the push. This episode we saw the preview is um, seems to be centered around Kirishima and Fakum. That's going to be awesome. We get some more Kirishima love. Get to see uh, the what he was sorrow in his vision. Hopefully, that'd be awesome. And uh, it seems like every episode is focused on like a a group in a sense. So. Yeah, I wonder who's gonna who's, who's gonna be the focus of the next episode, who knows? I like I don't really like to pay attention a lot to the opening because I feel like it it shows a lot that you don't really need to see. I mean I know like I've read this so I know what's gonna happen, but you know I like to be I like to forget certain things, and if the opening makes me recall that it's kind of annoying. <clears throat> it's like that for like Doctor Stone or My Hero or anything really. That I uh, read and watch. <sighs> mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> yeah. But why? Yeah, I'm sure. Whoa. All right, so some of them are following Chisaki because he reached out his hand and then some of them are following out of fear. Hmm. 
I see. So there's like an etiquette to it, I suppose. That these guys have just come in, just villaining it up. Mm. Oh shit, Eraser Head. Shit. He's <laughs> like a long ball. <laughs> Kirishima. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Come on, you got this. What are they? Is he part of his quirk or is he... Are they just like a support I am? What are they? Oof. He's unbreakable too. Shit. Shit. True. Fuck, man. Red Riot. Damn. A barrier ability, too. Fuck, man. I wonder if this guy actually has a quirk. He might just be mega strong. True. Sure. Oh, God, Kirishimi's hand. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. What a great fat guy. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, true. I mean, yeah, you've obviously been put together, you don't want to. <laughs> this guy, all this guy wants is a fight. Yeah, what? Does he have a quirk? Hmm.
Is he okay? He looks like he's out of Unbreakable. But no. He's still in it. He's, it's got to have been longer than 30, 40 seconds. <laughs> God damn. Your quirk being fat absorption and you still can't alt that take this. You can take bullets and blades and you can't take these fists. Don't let it get you down, man. Come on, man. Boring boss. Oh, here we go. So that's a weird quirk. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck's going on? Yeah. Sad but true. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um first choice, UA high school. It's his only choice. Holy fuck, he's tall. What the fuck? I don't blame him for being afraid in the 
a situation like this, what the fuck? Small thinking, Ashton. Send him to the police. <laughs> oh, good fucking thinking, jeez. <clears throat> Takayaki. Oh. <laughs> he knew about him before he even started. <laughs> Come on, man. No, oh, that's what the, that's what the little scar under his eyes. Got this, bro. Oh, he had black hair when he was uh, doing, doing the test. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> oh. 
Oh. Hmm. Ooh. Oh shit. Go on, Kirishma. Oh, fuck yeah. Skinny gum, let's go! Oh, shit! <laughs> fuck. <sighs> wow. Fuckham's a beast. Yes! What a good episode. God damn it. Why is Dr. Stone and my hero going to make me feel every single week? Oh, right. Let's skip to the end, shall we? Let's get it. Uh-huh. Okay. So are we focusing on Deku next episode? Cool, cool. So yeah, guys, that was episode 9, season 4, Myro Academia. Oh, God. So many times in that episode I wanted to speak. But I just know... If I, I just know if I'd spoken, I would have, like, stored my words. Or... Something you know, when you've just got something in your throat when you're trying to speak, when you're watching something that's like really making you feel that's how I was feeling through most of that episode. Oh, <laughs> uh, jeez, man, what a good episode, though! I love it. I love the dynamic. I love Fakum and Karishima. I love the dynamic be between the two. I love the backstory of Karishima and how uh, Ashida played a part in it. And just seeing those two being actual friends as well before high school is really nice, you know. Um. Gives it gives what's well, more vibrance to the the law in a sense of um, the other students in the class apart from the main characters, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, a great episode. Fuck, was quick. It's so cool. Like, what the fuck? I mean, it's kind of like in in a sense, it's kind of like one for all. Though in the in the in the way that you can store up energy, it's just done in a different way. Obviously, and it's not as strong, but. Damn, it's still cooler. Like with far absorption turns into he went he's a shield and then it becomes a spear. Like, damn. Sick work. Him him and Karisha make a good team. I feel like it'd be as much as I'd like to see them all be pro heroes from the start, like have their own agencies or whatever, I know it's probably not likely. So it'd be nice to see Karisha make like sidekick with Fakum again, like once he's a pro hero. I think that'd be awesome. Um, but yeah, Whew. anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. 
I certainly enjoyed the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.